Hey y'all, Earth Angel here. Again, today's like my fourth video, maybe. I don't know, but the first one you see my face up in it. Oh, I got my dad's car tonight. Uh, I don't know why he let me use his car, so I'm taking it. I'm pretty sure that, you know, the eyes in the sky and the scouts around me don't notify everybody. Oh, she's not in her car today. Oh, she's in a different, she got in her father's vehicle. But it's cool, I just gotta watch myself because my dad's car is really, really, really fast. And uh, I got the need, excuse me, the old me had the need for speed. So, um, you know, and I mean, it's a, it's a very fast vehicle and I, I like to go fast. But the last time actually I drove it was um, in March when my car was in um, the, uh, what you mean, getting all types of fucked up. Um, when they did, all I did was rip out the GPS and all it does said on the paperwork was, uh, they were replacing the wires and I get my car back three weeks and one day later from the day and, uh, not only were the wires replaced, but all that fucking fun funky bullshit went on with the, you know, with that shit that they put up under the, the pedals and the rugs are all, that's when the rugs started being cut up and I noticed that my steering column shaft was different and all that but anywho so last time I had my I was driving this bad boy it was back in March and I was being super reckless because that's when I really that you know after GPS I realized I was getting followed I just didn't understand what the fuck was going on and I was detaching from every single person that I had been around because I didn't know what was going on with me so I was trying not to jeopardize anybody blah 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 you know like I really didn't know and um so therefore uh you know, I would just get on 20 and I would race the shit out of people in, in Atlanta. Like, all up and down. I put on Snapchat. I'm like, yo, I'm in this car. Yo, go ahead. But I won't waste my time on no, like, little rinky dink ass Toyotas. Hi, like, I'll put that in there. Or, um, you know, no little raggedy ass cars. I'm not going to waste my time. You know, because I'm racing. I'm a race, race, race. Like, I mean, I hit my first super speeder in this car, actually. So, I got to be careful. But, um, with that being said, I'm out of speed demon no more. The only time that's why I like cruise control because I don't I, I can't speed because sometimes I get excited I'll be listening to music things you know I mean? I'll be listening to music or whatever and I'll be like getting hyped up you know and uh, you know, I mean I don't have drugs on me I'm completely drug free sober no marijuana no nothing no cigarettes no urge you see how good the Lord is but I don't need me no more of them damn tickets so and I'm not I'm gonna be jumping on no highway the highways from here are really I mean to get on a 20 you got to drive about 40 minutes well, I don't mind the way I drive, but um, I try to keep it no more than like, I like to do like 10 miles, 11 miles over the speed limit. I feel that's pretty safe. Um, so, and my cruise control, but, um, you know, I mean, it was like back then I was just reckless. It was like, that was, that's what was giving me life was I would get in my car, I would roll my joints up and my dad's car, whatever. And I would hit the road and I would jump on 20 and I'll go towards the city to Atlanta because that's the city down here nothing like new york city but anyway um and the first per any if i would even see a car coming up on me they wouldn't even be wanting to race i'll be like oh hell no i'm gonna make y'all work man listen the fastest i hit so far was a buck 40 i will it was it was pretty freaking exhilarating but i won't i won't do that no more because it was actually the same exact vehicle as this that i'm in right now driving and that motherfucker pushed me and then i remember coming around a turn and like I was like, you know, when I be mm, anyway, I'm not gonna put my tactics up there. They know how I be speeding and how I was racing. I could do that, but anyway, I'm a pretty, pretty, pretty damn good driver. And uh, you know, I know how to do my turns. I know how to like gauge my vehicle. I know how to make some. You know, you don't think about it. You just know how to gauge your vehicle, and you see an opportunity and you take it. And just know, as long as you keep going fast, and as long as you can see the headlights of the car behind you. And you keep it moving, there ain't gonna be no accident. But the minute you're like, oh, I don't think I can make it, don't do it. Don't make that, don't, don't do it. I'm not, I'm not like really making anybody tell anybody to speed fast um, or race anybody or anything. So as we speak, I got a charger running up on the side of me. I bet you I could smoke you, your booty, but it's a red charger at that. Ooh. I'm a challenger, okay, whatever. Uh, my challenger, I'll smoke you, but I'm not gonna. Oh, and then I've got a red um, Nissan. Oh, they know I'm in this car. It's okay. I knew it. They're so corny. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, I'm just really excited I'm in a fast car regardless. But I just, you know, the only time I am going to hit it is um, I will watch my speed is um, if someone's annoying me. And uh, I know that this fast this car will pick up way faster than mine. So, um, and I have no problem passing people. Um, and, uh, again, I don't know, driving is my thing. And, um, you know, I will definitely, um, 
do some, you know, do some, like, riding up on you as fast as I possibly can to get over, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do what I gotta do to get around people. And this vehicle, I can absolutely do it way better than mine. So, um, but I'm not gonna do that unless I absolutely have to. So, they wanna be behind me, they wanna be in front of me, they wanna watch my pretty ass talk about the Lord and everything, because now that's what we about to get into. So, anywho, with that being said, that was the old me. Um, y'all not gonna get me racing. Y'all can try to taunt me to race or whatever. And what I'm gonna do is the same thing I do in my vehicle. I will drop the speed down tremendously slow and I will get over. I'll put the hazards on. And that's how I know when you're involved and you're not because the perpetrators, the purpets, and I like to call it little purpets, little corn balls, little corn chowder. Y'all like floating in corn chowder, little corn balls. So, like, drop your nutsack and like get with the Lord, bro. Like, grow the fuck up. Like, y'all shit is mad corny. Anyway. But, um, you know, but that's how I can always tell. That's that's one of the surefire ways to tell if they're involvement or not. You know, because you will drop down, you will put your, your hazards on, you will do, I, no matter how fast or how slow I go, they make sure they stay on your ass. I will have, it will be two lanes. I will drop down to 30 miles an hour in a 55 or a 60 with my hazards on, okay? Going over to like, and like, ah, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, they want to pull up on me. But. The old me, okay? But if I was to try to get them out their vehicle to step to me and, like, throw your hands up, which I don't do anymore. The only hands I throw up is to the Lord, and he knows that. But the old me, I'm trying to pull these mofos over. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, get on the side of the road, my dude. Like, okay, I'm a female, but I'm from the streets, y'all. Like, I'm from the hood in New York. Like, I'm about it, chick. Like, go ahead. Y'all want to play with your little cars as weapons? Nah, get the fuck out, throw your hands up, and take this ass whooping like a jeep. Because I damn sure will give some ass whoopings out. But I don't do that anymore. That was the old man. Just I get that out real quick. Let that be known. But nah, y'all not going to put... The only time I'm putting my hands on anybody is if y'all put your hands on me first. Which y'all don't do anyway. So I'm just... We don't do that no more. I pray. I pray and I forgive. And, um... You know, I'm not going to jeopardize myself, you know, or, or, or as far as I got from the Lord. You know, I was basically just like, that's what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? But we don't do that no more. So I'll just pull, I'll pull over, I'll go slow, I'll put my, my hazards on, and I'll, I'll come to a damn near complete stop. They're about to eat the back of my, the vehicle. And, like, they won't get over until, like, I put, I will put the car in park and sit there on the side of the road or in the lane until they finally, like, oh, shit, let me go. Or the second surefire way is pulling that phone out. Pull that phone out and let them see the record. Pew, pew, pew. But, oop, I hit the, I hit the side, whatever. But now my surefire way of knowing if they are unholy or not is I pull out the Bible. I pull out the Bible in my rose, which I can't do anymore because apparently we're in the Bible belt and I'm praying for people and they call the cops on me. <laughs> whatever. So, um, but I pray for them. You know, I don't want to do the sign of the cross. I don't want them to lie and say I'm throwing things out the window and I'm giving them the finger when I'm literally doing this. Oh, we got one of my booty guys. Here we go. See, look at that. Can't even see his lights. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Get with the Lord. You don't bother me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep talking. Oh, I even did the camera better doing it that way. Cool. So, anywho, um, so this morning, I think I had mentioned in my my first video I put up this morning, I was woken at like 2.30, 2.40 this morning. Now I understand why, because we're on all them chemtrails. But, um, and I was just, I could not, like, I kept waking up like every 45 minutes, every fucking, excuse me, every 45 minutes, every hour, I could not stay asleep after 11.30 at night. And, like, I already know, like, all them damn drones and the copters and the choppers and the planes are all out there, like, ooh, Watching me sleep, watching me pray, watching me watch movies on Netflix on my phone, and they're all religious movies, really? Like, oh, okay, I get your life together. But anywho, um, I'm gonna do a little break check. Oh yeah, he didn't like that because he got one of them boat, one of them big old boat, old school boat things. So them bad boys, yeah, mm, I didn't think so. All right, we're gonna do it because it's 55 now. You hear the engine? Ah, all right, I did it. I only did it to 61. Oh, see, I can't. I can't. That's a temptation. Ooh, see, this is a good temptation fighter right here. So now we got some dotted line coming up. All right, I'm down. I'm doing now 55. Oh, he fell back. I was like, you, you don't want this smoke, bro. You will blow your engine. Do not play with me. 
Okay, anyway. So, yeah, I was up at that earliest one. And I ain't got no time limit on this right now. It better not be because I deleted so much more things on my phone that I didn't even need. So, go ahead. It doesn't tell me I have, like, 28 minutes out of 35 or whatever. Nah, it don't get me. It don't got me a limit. So, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk till the sun goes down. About an hour. I'm going to talk till even later. Oh, I went off the road again. But see, but Gabby whipping that, whipping that, whipping that wheel right back, cause he got, he got work for me to do. So this morning I'm reading, you know, I have my coffee, and it's just so corny. Like, let me go back to these damn, these, these drones and stuff. Like, literally every time I move in that house, you see the lights, the green lights, the red flashing lights, and you see a flash of white light because they're taking pictures of. Oh, you're taking pictures of me getting up. You're taking pictures of me going to the bathroom and wiping my ass. Take a picture of me washing my hands. Take a picture of me going to the kitchen making coffee. Taking a picture of me going back and, and praying and drinking my coffee. And you're taking a picture of me reading the Bible. Holy war. Holy war we are in. It is disgusting. So today I was reading and I was like really, really wanting to know about the significance of these fives. And I had asked um, a woman that, um, that, I'm so I'm actually really um, honored that she started following me and I've been learning so much from her and um, you know um, you know I've been watching her videos and things that have been happening to me and whatnot I'm, I'm uh, my thing fell down hold on I have this ah! oh 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 and I went in the other lane but God got me hold on, hold on hold on I gotta get the tape up off the camera okay see how God did that and then we're gonna put this right back where it was on the vent. Oh, look, it just got up close to me. Cool. Sun's with me. God's with me. Right back there. Bam. And, um, the phone fell, but we caught it. And as I'm turning, and, uh, I went into the other lane, but the wheel jerked back into this lane because God and Jesus got the wheel. And I get it. Amen. Um, and I was still able to get really, this didn't even stop recording. And we're going to get back into my notebook that they don't want me to do. So I'll get into the numbers. So I have put, she um she has a video up and she was talking about the fives. You know, she was making or whatever. And so I, I, I made a comment. I'm like, can you, please, if you don't mind me asking, you know, you know, blah, 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 about, you know, the significance of the fives. Because when I put really big things together, I've noticed I'm seeing fives. Mainly trip fives. Um, and, uh, you know, she had told me what it was. And then someone else had commented on my um, my video that took all day and all night to put up that I made last night or yesterday afternoon, and um, so fucking annoying. And um, you know, he was like, this gentleman was like, it means the grace of God. But this is how God works, all right. So like, I'm like, all right. So these two things, this is what it means. It means this one way, and means this the other way. Okay. But just as he had, I was reading that comment from him because I had been up. I was on. I had just looked up um, the significance of, I wanted, I looked up the significance of numbers in the Bible because I was doing numerology, but I'm not sure. I think, I don't, numerology, I don't believe, Lord, correct me if I'm wrong, is 100% with the Lord. Numerology is basically, but the way adding the numbers is how, is, is different. Like, I don't need I don't need numerology to give me a reading anymore because I got God, so I know that now. But and now I know how to add the numbers and whatnot, and I, that's how I can get like when God's giving me signs, and I'm like, all right, He gave me this number, this number, this number, boom, this answer is that. This this number equals that. This number equals that. So um, I was looking up the fives, and literally I had just was just I was reading up on the zero actually because this this one the first site that came up. I hit because I looked because my, my time was giving me, I don't know, I had got all these sevens in my, like between my battery powerage and like the time it was and it was like 334 or something. So I was like, all right, so three and three is seven and three and, or three and four is seven and three and four is seven. And then my battery percentage or then whatever. So, um, we got more derby derbies. Oh, they are out. They want that dirty money, devil money. We gonna talk about the Lord. You lucky I can't hold nothing up, dude. So, you know, so I was just, I was reading up on the zeros, which I'm going to do because God's got me. And I only got those zeros written down. But, um, so, there's a lot of ways that the, their numbers are in the Bible. And I'm, I got to do more studying on it. But, um, so zero is very seldomly ever mentioned. And if it is, the devil promotes zero. Mm -hmm. um, the devil's use of it, zero, to tempt mankind to sin i.e. nothing, not any, none, empty, void, naught, all equals zero. All right, hold on. And the Bible's authority, 
Come on, I gotta watch this. I got three behind me. They can just, they lucky my dad's cruise control won't work, so I'm gonna be doing a little because uh, 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 the cruise control don't work, so. Um, I'm gonna read. I got oncoming, I got them behind me, I don't care. The Bible's authority over all humans. And I use heavy, I just had to use orange ink, is based on. on the assertion that the Godhead, which is God the Father and Jesus Christ, are the only true deities, that deities which are gods, in the universe. Mm hmm okay? Get that right, get that right, Antichrist. Get that right, New World Order wannabes. You know what I'm saying? Like, only God and Jesus Christ. Mm hmm I'm not scared of y'all. Okay, I'll call y'all out. I'm not scared of y'all. Just know that, me, I am not scared of any of you, okay? Step to me. Y'all won't. Don't. Don't step to me. I'll pray for you. But um, y'all still would anyway. Y'all won't pull over. Y'all won't come in my face. Y'all gonna do that little sneaky shit. Y'all gonna try to psychologically warfare me. Ooh. Ooh, Billy Badasses. Y'all so badass. God don't hide. Mm. See him shine on me? Mm-hmm. That's right. Hold on. I'm gonna go slower now. I'm gonna piss them off. And I want to read this. We got a little bit of a straight ways. All right. Everything that exists in the physical universe and the spiritual realm, aka angels, were made by the Father through Christ. Not nothing else. God. Capiche? God. Okay? The Alpha, the Omega. Okay? The beginning and the end. Y'all will not end it. God will end it when he is ready to, and he will not even completely end it, because after he did that with the flood, he made a vow, and with the rainbow in the sky to remind him of his covenant that he will never, there we go, there's one, he, we, he will never ruin and destroy all of humankind again. All right, you better go too, bro. You want to be on my ass too? I'm going to go slower. All right, so while they're on my ass, he don't want me to hit this. He don't want me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Get ye behind these Satan, the blood of Jesus against you. Get ye behind these Satan, the blood of Jesus against you. Get ye behind these Satan, the blood of Jesus against you. Satan, I rebuke you and everything unholy in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, I rebuke you and everything holy in the name of Jesus Christ. Unholy, excuse me. Satan, I rebuke you and everything unholy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. That's what I thought. They fall back. Because it's even the demons quiver at the thought of God. Mm. I heard that today on something I was listening to. All right. All other gods either are a creation of mankind's imagination. Oh, they're going to come back up on me. Whatever. Or a rare... Wait, wait. Or are inspired by demonic powers who seek to explo exploit and destroy humanity. You see how that goes hand in hand with the new world order and then what God has got me reading in the Bible and with the messages he got me going on with y'all. You see how that just that just happens to go hand in hand. I didn't know there was zero. I didn't know what I was looking up this morning. I just knew I was trying to find out what the fives was. He brought me to them zeros and that's what I wrote down because that was what he wanted me to write down. So anyway, I'm going to get my message across. Here, let me put them on camera. It's a little raggedy ass shit. Oh, smile. You're going on YouTube, sweetie pie. Little demonic being. Oh, they're so cute. Let me just pray for them. I forgive you. I love you. Because you've never been loved as a child, which is why you act the way you do. And I feel so sorry for you. Your soul is going to get burned in fire and brimstone. You are going to have the locusts come and tear you up for five months first. And when you beg for death, because they are not allowed to kill you, death will flee from you. And then we're going to have the horsemen coming up with heads of lions and tails of serpents. And they go, and them tails are going to sting. And they're going to torment y'all as well. And then y'all going to go into the fire and brimstone in the bottomless pit. So don't play with me. Okay? Don't play with Jesus and the Lord. Don't do it. So, but retrospectively... God always accomplishes what he sets out to do. So his when, when his will is carried out, it never returns empty. It has zero effects because it never returns empty. Bam! All right, so that's all as far as I really got on that. Oh, there we go. Here we go. See? Oh, now he's leaving me. Mm, yay. Bye, little angry little guy. Little angry devil. You need some love. I love you. God's given me so much love in my heart that grows every... Oh, and there goes the third one. Did I not just rebuke them? 
They've been on my ass. I'm doing 60 now. I rebuke them and they out. Can I get an amen? Amen to that. I'm looking at the sun and I can look at the road and still see. You know what I'm saying? Like I can look at the sun, my car drives straight. I still see. I can still see. I'm looking at the sun. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see what's going on? Mm. So, um, but then I came up to something very interesting that um, I never knew what Yom Kippur is. Did I say that right? Yeah, Yom Kippur. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So it's the Day of Atonement. I didn't know what that was. So Jesus, you know that his ministry began on September 11th, 26 AD. That is exactly 1,900. I did all this math this morning. Exactly 1,975 years to date of 9-11-2001. I'm trying to, I'm going to figure out, I'm going to get the bottom of the significance of that. That has some sort of significance. But, um, and then we got the year of the Jubilee. So every 50 years from the year of September 26th, or excuse me, that's, that's my grandfather's birthday in heaven. September 11th, 26 AD. Every 50 years from 26 AD is the, Jub the year of the Jubilee. And, um, the next one is in is going to be 9 11 2026 is when it starts so i was actually trying to see originally if the year of the jubilee and up oh, there goes the black dot it hadn't been there actually i lied it was there on my walk with my dog um about halfway through the walk with my dog when i started looking up and everything boom the black dot appeared hmm and then um you know god's i got the deer coming up at me like literally like i, I just didn't record nothing until the end because i was like you know this is for me i got deer coming up like, come on. Like, y'all see, I ain't got no small-ass dog. Them deer are coming up. They're coming up to the road. Anyway, back to this. But mm, the black dot's back because I'm talking about it. And this is not of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, again, I prayed on it. So whatever this black dot is that y'all put in my eye or however it works, whatever source we are, witchcraft, we know it's there. I know it's there. And I know it's not of the Lord. So, okay. And it's just ironic that when I'm reading something or I'm putting something up, that I'm reading the Bible or studying or God showing me things. I'm looking. All of a sudden, that bad boy shows up. Hmm. So weird. That's a validation right there from the Lord. You see that? He don't want them to know what I'm seeing. Oh, no. Let me, let me keep the Lord right there. That's right, Lord. That's right, Lord. That's right. Shy, darken my face out and you put yourself there because I'm in behind you. I'm next to you. You are in front of me, my Lord. It is you that gets all the glory and the praise. I just speak for you. You speak through me. You teach me and you tell me what to teach them and what to put out there so that people can wake up and realize they can become true believers. Because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know. I knew about Tom. Yeah, Tom. Yom Kippur. I didn't know that it was a David told me. I didn't even know what that was. I had to go there. So I'm going to be starting to do that, by the way. I'm going to be doing the fasting and everything. And um, I don't know why I thought it was some other thing. But um, so, yeah. So 1,975 years to date was 9-11-2001 from September 11th, 9-11-26 AD when Jesus' ministry began. And the next year, the Jubilee starts 9-11-2026. Oh, that's exactly 2,000 years. That's exactly 2,000 years. I just put that together. That's exactly 2,000 years to date from Jesus' ministry. Something's going to go down that year. Something's going to go down that year. Something's tell me something's going to try to go down that year. I got to look into more of these stupid guide stones and see what the astronomical alignment is and how that works. Oh, I got so much work to do. I got so much work to do for me. As I say that, I address this. And this is the crescent moon. And uh, I think it's a heart. But, um... That's, that's a sign from God. That's what he wants me to do. He wants me to look into that. Yes, sir. You tell me what to do, I do it. So, yeah. So, um, that's that. I thought that I wanted to put that up there. But, um, dang. I can't believe I didn't realize that this morning when I was... I, the only thing... I'm, like, so adamant. I was trying to put something together with 9-11-01 with 9-11-26 A.D., and doing all that math and subtracting, trying to figure out that's the year that you believe and trying to like put those together that and literally as we are, as I am speaking and making this video is when I realized the next, the next year that you believe starts is 2000 years to date on 
is the next one. 2,000 years to the day. That something is going to happen or attempt to happen that year. I feel it. God is telling me that. I can't shake this feeling. That's one of them things. I got some research to do. Oh, Lord, I got some research to do. Mm. So, um... Yeah, that, that's what I got so far today. Um, but because I did wake up super early, um, which I know why now after I walk out, I see them them planes and them bad boys were up in the air t last night working hard. They weren't just taking pictures and, and trying to see what I'm doing, every movement I make. But um, they were up there making um, making uh, them chemtrails all around, all around. Oh, y'all saw them this morning. I made the video. I put it up. Like, come on. Y'all like, and then ironically... I run like and I'm sitting there and I'm like I'm like yo and I was when I'm walking the dog this morning I'm like yo this is so funny before I started recording I'm like this is so funny y'all realize that it's not just me you're poisoning correct I'm sure the all the people ahead of this and all them secret societies all them got some sort of like mask and some sort of like whatever to them where uh whatever you call it like like vaccines or whatever that to save them from the poison i got the lord okay so <laughs> no vaccine can trump the lord just like nobody else could trump the lord but i'm ooh, but got hot to the seat. um so um you know i'm sitting there and that's when i was like that's right huh isn't one of them isn't one of them things on them guide stones a man-made guide stones trying to out trying to trump the ten commandments trying to trump the lord's law get the fuck out of here y'all are tripping whatever drugs y'all on y'all need to stop them okay get with the lord okay y'all really i don't understand what y'all think like I, I i just i can't comprehend in my brain what y'all think y'all going to do to the lord i mean like really what what do y'all think Y'all got, the devil got y'all that fucked up in the head. Like, he got y'all that fooled. He ain't up there for a reason. He lurks. He lurks. He lurks in the darkness. He lurks in the shadow. When when the God said, he might go and talk to God, but he ain't going up in heaven. And when God sends him away, that mofo, what he does, he backs the fuck up, don't he? Mm. But no, go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship son that quivers in the fear of the Lord. Go ahead and, and, and worship son that ain't never, ever, 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 ever going to beat the Lord. Okay, the most he can do is, is, is tempt people to sin. And those that are not fully committed to the Lord, like I am now officially 100% committed to the Lord. Temptation, like, y'all going to fall for it. I did. My whole life. I'm not going to lie. The devil had me a grasp of me. Something fierce. Regardless if I went to Catholic school, regardless if I believed in the Lord, regardless if I went to church, see that? Uh, that's that's another one. That's another thing. Talk thing. Sign to about some. Yes, my child, you you speaking the truth. Um. So, but yeah. Um. So it was such a weird dude. But um. Yeah, like come on now, like he had me. I self-medicated my whole life. I've been smoking, I had been, eh, let me, let me fix that. Had been smoking cigarettes my whole life since, what, 31 years of my life smoking Newports? And here I go, like, cold turkey, like, every time I've ever attempted cold turkey in my life, um, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. I cheat. I lie to people. Like, oh, yeah, no, I didn't smoke cigarettes. I'd be smoking cigarettes still. I was lying. You could, I know they could smell it on me. Because, like, the next day, I stopped. The day after I stopped smoking, I was walking the dog in the morning, and I could smell some. I couldn't see nobody. I could smell cigarette smoke. I knew somebody was smoking. They probably put it in the air on purpose. Because, you know, I made a big dramatic scene outside my dad. I always make a big dramatic scene when I'm outside. You know, I talk very loudly to the Lord. Um, I do. I talk what I say. Oh, we're doing. Oh, I got to slow down. 35 miles an hour now, you know. But, um... I always speak very, very, very loud because I don't hide nothing. I want them to see what I'm doing. Y'all want to know what I'm doing? The only thing I'm going to make hard for y'all to do is see in the bathroom when I'm trying to take a shower and I'm trying to go to the bathroom because that's kind of like, come on, y'all. Get your life together. Um, and at nighttime, I'm going to put, I'm going to close the curtains and I'm going to put the blinds on. Okay, other than that, I don't hide nothing from y'all. Nothing. Because I ain't doing nothing wrong. 
But, you know, y'all want to try and buy, inv invade, invade someone's privacy. Y'all want to, like, really, y'all want to watch me go to the bathroom? So y'all want to see what color my doo-doo is? Y'all want to see me wipe my ass? Y'all want to see me shower, you nasty, dirty people? You demonic-ass beings? Go ahead, do it. Do it. It ain't going to be easy. I'm not making y'all job easy. It is not going to, y'all going to have to work for having to watch my ass straight up. Straight up. See how God's like, yup, I ain't leaving her. I'm right there. Boom. So, anywho, um, but I forgot what I start, what I was saying a second ago. Um, and I gotta pay attention to where I'm driving, but we got 25 miles an hour in these little rinky dink gas towns and shit. But, um, whatever. They are out. They are on me. They don't scare me. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, Lucifer. The devil. Huh? These, the corruption. Like, I don't know what he put in y'all head. <laughs> to make y'all think y'all gonna trump the Lord. Which way do I go? Eeny, meeny, miny, mom. I'm going to the left. Um, but of course y'all went to the left with me. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Y'all ain't gonna follow me righteously to the Lord. Y'all gonna follow me like little perps and creeps. <laughs> I'm gonna bring them to church. You're lucky I can't hold that Bible up. Ooh, I just don't want no bullshit. Like, I can't even be a holy woman and not get the kind of get pulled over. Like, get out of here. The devil had a hold of me long enough. I am so holy. I don't want now that the Lord and me have a personal relationship because he be talking to me. He is with me all the time. I am telling y'all, my praying is getting so much longer, so much more detailed. I'm adding prayers now. I'm, I'm, I'm my desires and wishes for people are just so much. Oh my god. Hold on. Let's see if this makes a pull back. Then we're going to rebuke them. So we got the white one, and then we got the red one behind them. And then we got white truck behind the red one. You see? They're all. Oh, they're so cute, you little You want a paycheck, boo boo? All right, we're going to rebuke them, see what happens. I forgive y'all. I send y'all love. I send y'all blessings. I send y'all peace and happiness. But in the same breath, Satan and everything unholy, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan and everything unholy, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan and everything unholy, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Get ye behind me, Satan and everything unholy. You are not welcome here in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan and everything unholy, I rebuke you. Get away from me. You are not welcome here in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan and everything unholy, get away from you. You are not welcome here in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> like, really fell back. Really, really, really fell back. Y'all see this, right? God, keep showing them. Keep you keep using me to show them. I have no problem doing this. No problem. No problem. Hold on. I don't know where I had this thing though. I just don't want to get pulled over. That's not too bad of an angle of me, is it? I, I usually I like my other side better. I don't know why. I almost went off the road, but God was like, nah, -uh, girl. Whoop, whoop. Pull that wheel real quick. Oh, they far back now. I'm, the speed limit went up too at that. Okay. See what happens when you rebuke. <laughs> And when they evil and when they entities that, and they are not of God, if they were angels and they were sent to protect me from the Lord, um, they wouldn't be doing that. They would have been like on my earth. But um, what I'm realizing is the angels and the protection that God sends me are through nature and through the um, the clear and the white things that I see. Um, they're my angels and my guardians. And there is this one big, huge um, dragonfly that be around me a lot. And there was a little baby dragonfly. Oh my god, I've never seen a baby dragonfly day in my life. It's so cute. Like me, look so cute. Bugs are cute. I got spider friends now. I got bee friends. I'm bringing bees in my dad's house last night. I'm like, oh my god, the ants are trying to kill it. I got a bumblebee, all honey bee, on my hand, like bringing it in the kitchen. I'm like, no, no, no. I got cats. Don't fall off my hand. I'm trying to slice it on strawberries. Trying to feed it. I tried. I tried. I tried. And I hope. I don't know if it's gonna make it or not, but. That was a big feat for me. For me not to go outside when that big old bubbles, my girl's bubbles the spider outside the window. For me not to go out there and unleash, open up a whole can of Raid because old me would have went out there with two cans of Raid and I probably would have doubly sprayed it every, and I would not have stopped spraying it until the thing stopped moving. Now they got some big ass insects down here in Georgia all day back. They got some big ass insects down here in Georgia. Let me tell you. And the first place that my dad had put me up in, man, I don't know what they call, but they look like little baby tarantulas. They didn't look like my little bubbles. 
even though if I saw bubbles, I would freak out back in the day. But um, actually, after even a couple few weeks ago, hold on, we're gonna slow down and let the past me. Go around, go around. Uh uh, go around. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna come. Please stop. I don't know where my dad's. Oh, there it is. Okay, now back to what I was doing. Aha! God, I did the right thing. I look up and there's a seven. Or actually, one and a six, which equals seven. God said yes. How am I gonna pull over right where there's a seven at? You know what I mean? Like God, that was God's doing right there. He's like, girl, get them away from you, my boo, my girl. Like, oh, and then we got. I'm not even gonna do it. But then on this side of the road, I got a red, a red truck and a white truck. At a church, nonetheless. At a church, nonetheless. Fake. Those are fake ministers and fake prophets. Oh, but it's a box truck. Hmm. I bet. Oh, cemetery. Yep, see, I spoke the truth. That's why God just came in right there. Um, so, <clears throat> y'all, you like, listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me, let, let, that's what we can talk about now. That's what God just put in my head. So I've been, God had some of my first readings ever, God had put into my head um, after, I real, after I went to church and I did my testimony and like he started with red, red, like, get a life. My Bible is like kind of reddish. Ooh, actually it's coral, it's dark coral. What's this, dark coral? It's not fuchsia, it's definitely a dark coral. This, I'm gonna go with dark coral, which isn't a red family, okay? One of my socks is red, okay? I got a rainbow on my on my shirt, so I'm wearing tie-dye different color socks. Shocks, <laughs> shocks. Okay, one of them is red, red and orange, and the other one is purple and pink, so, okay, ooh, red, mm, okay, ooh. Mm -hmm. I see y'all, Lord, a one and a seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to what I was talking about, um, the fakeness. So let me tell y'all something. Lord wants me, he's already already asked me, he's already told me, I, he wants me to preach, he wants me to be a minister, he wants me to you know, make believers, non-believers, believers, he wants me to make people that claim they are believers, which they truly aren't, the same believe in the Lord, and praying now and then, or, oh my God, asking for something when you only need it. Let me tell y'all the difference, okay? When you are truly holy, uh-huh, I'm going to talk about it, God. That's right. You shine on me. You shine on them. When you are truly holy, I was diagnosed bipolar my whole life. Well, once I was like, I don't know, late, my early 20s, okay? I was supposed to be medicated. Um, fuck out of here. Pardon my language, Lord. Um, you know, everything worried me. I was a worry, 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 worry. If I could not control it myself. It was in my head worrying. I'm like, oh my God, I'm worrying about this. I'm worried about that. You know, I'm always stressing out, son, son, son. That's not full faith. I only pray to God, like, God, please don't let this happen. God, please let this happen. Please don't let this happen. Oh my God, you know, what is that? What is that? Okay, I recognize that God is the God and I know that you exist because I know that you're up there because that's, I know where you're from because that's what I was raised as. But I was still self-medicating. I was still being a greedy person and I was still sinning and I was still, you know, you know, I just wasn't who I am now. But it wasn't that time for me to. And, you know, because mm, I'm going to get that different. But let me tell y'all something. Now that I have my calling, if I make any, if I was to make one dollar off of Say My Shit Blows Up on YouTube, I hope it does. Because the bigger it blows up, you know, like they're trying to stop it. I'm not getting my notification, my notification, my notifications. I'm not getting my notifications. Hold on, my dad told me not to use all this gas. All right, we're good. Um... I'm not getting my notifications the way I'm supposed to. Um, I, I don't know if my comments are going through on other people's. My things are taking three. It says three hours, but they taking literally like seven to ten hours to load a 30-minute video. Can I get a witness? My Lord is witnessing me right now. He's like, talk about it, my girl. Talk about it. My, my child is going to speak. Okay, but... Like, so they're blocking it. I can't get subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't get these views on these really, really, really serious videos I'm putting up that is nothing but the truth. That I'm not making this up. I can't make this up. Like, come on. Why would I make it up? But anyway, but, um, all right, God, you got to bring me back to what I started with because I just got off the subject. Oh, oh, the money. <laughs> If I was to make, if, if my YouTube channel was to blow up, which I really pray it does, um, if I was to make even a dollar off of it, 
I don't, I'm not going to gain from that. You know what I'm going to do with that dollar? I'm going to go donate it. I'm going to go find a homeless person on the street and I'm going to give it to them. Or maybe I'll buy them something to eat because homeless people, um, you know, not all of them, but you know, they're like, oh, you know, they might go get a beer or a drug and I, I don't want to do that. I'll, I'll bring them clothes. I'll buy them food or something. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to gain. I'm not going to go be like, oh, there's a dollar for me. Let me go get myself an ice cream. Let me go get myself a bag of chips. Nah. I don't want to gain from the Lord. So all y'all fake prophet, or excuse me, not prophets, all y'all fake ministers, and all y'all, oh, I got a Camaro behind me. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do 16 to talk about the Lord. All y'all, y'all fake, y'all fake ministers, not all of y'all, but the ones that take those tithes and you don't put them right back in the church and you buy yourself fancy clothes and y'all buy yourself fancy cars and you go and upgrade your houses and you go and buy all the finest jewelry you can, that's not your money. That is money that's to go back into the church. That is not y'all money. And that's what y'all doing. And that's what God brought to my attention. Y'all telling me y'all real ministers. Y'all telling me y'all preaching the word of the Lord, but y'all going out and sinning. Y'all going out there and talking slander in the next person's name. Y'all out there sitting there. Yo, man, like, don't get me started because God is all up in my mouth right now. Okay. Y'all in there talking about, it's like, oh God, this, that, and that. What y'all think is at the end of the day, you, you, you ask God to forgive you for your sins, but you do it the next day. You think that that's how God works? I am brand new on this. And I have this knowledge already. I have this knowledge already. I know God exists and I know God is every single where. I know that that the Lord, the Supreme Being is with me 24-7, but he's not just with me. With that being said, why in the frock would I want to lie to him when he knows what's going to come out of my mouth before I even say it? Why would I want to do any type of mind-altering any type of any kind of like drugs or or cigarettes or drinking i don't need that i am i am so full of love and happiness and contentment and and joy from the lord and like i don't get headaches no more y'all listen let me tell you something i used to i used to live on me some ibuprofen i would get these major 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 migraines all the time man i would eat 800 milligrams of motrin over the counter like it was nothing every two and a half hours all day i had major back surgery last year major back surgery okay i have an implant in my back <laughs> all right like i think that might be a little funny shit but god overrode it you know what i'm saying like i got rods and screws in my back okay i couldn't sleep so i i can lay on my back now ever since i gave myself to the lord 100 i can lay on my back and not get locked up Okay, I can lay on my back and get right up. Before, I'd be like, oh, snap. Like, even though it's way better than it was pre-back surgery, like, I wouldn't, like, if I'm on, like, if I lay a certain way, my back is like, eh, uh eh, -uh. I don't even take, I have not taken an ibuprofen in almost a month now. For me, I lived on ibuprofen my whole entire life. Hold on. I'm gonna let this mofo go around me. He just chilling back there. Yeah, yeah. You want to go fast, don't you? I don't. All right. I haven't had an ibuprofen. I haven't had to take an acid. I have acid. I had. I had acid reflux. I haven't had. Everything gives me acid indigestion and acid reflux. It is horrible. It is. It was like fire coming out of my freaking soul. <laughs> devil, devil, come out because I was corrupted and I had the devil and I didn't have the Lord. Is that right, God? Am I getting that right? As I pass a church. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you, God. All right. That makes sense. But anyway, I would I live on antiacid pills over the counter and um an over the counter Walmart or whatever name brand store store brand um whatchamadingets, um ibuprofen. That's all I would eat. I would eat that more than I would eat real food. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't had none of the, like, and coffee would give it to me. I'm Italian. I love me some saucy type of stuff. I love me some vinegar. I love me some salt. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I love would just burn me up. Just burn me up. It don't no more. I have, I have huge cups of coffee in the morning. I put my Keurig on one big one and then a medium one on top of that. I got a big old mug my daughter got me for Christmas last year. Man, I get me a super-sized coffee. And since God's been waking me up earlier and earlier, I get up. Once once I'm up and God, like, I'm like, all right, God got me up for a reason. I stay up. I'll drink my coffee. I'll start my start my coffee. I'll drink, like, half of it because I have to guzzle. I love my coffee. I guzzle that shit. And uh, I did that. And then I drop to my knees. I grab my Bible. I grab this rosary. I grab the other rosary. It's in my pocket. Wrap around my hands. 
and I'm praying. And then um, I just start studying the Bible. But because I don't want to wake up my dad and it's super dark out because technically the old me will be still up at 2.33 in the morning. Nah, now the new me is waking up at 2.33 in the morning. I will go in the bathroom, I'll close the doors, and I'll put the light on, and I'll read in the bathroom. And, you know, like, not on the toilet, but... But, um, yeah, the point of that is... Shoot, I think I should figure out where I'm going. I don't want to put a GPS on. Uh, I'm going to whip a Huey because this is not my vehicle. So, um, I've been talking 45 minutes already, which is not a problem. And that's why I'm driving back into the sun so I can see him and he can see me. Well, he can see me anyway. But, like... Y'all, ever since I have been 100% full faithful to the Lord, walking, speak, we're going back to what that's what I originally started saying. God, it works on me. Y'all, do y'all remember my own, if y'all have been following me since I've been putting my channel up, y'all go back, and if y'all haven't, do y'all not remember all my other videos that I was putting up? I started talking about something, then I get something else, I get something else, I totally would forget what I was talking about. I couldn't get myself focused. I was all over the place. I'll be all over the place, but then, like, Look, you see, like, come on, y'all. Like, this is the Lord working. This ain't not me. I mean, it's me, but it's God. Oh, magnificent, magnificent, magnificent up there. Mm. He's so happy. He's so happy with me. I love you. But, um, okay, so we're getting back to, you know, give myself full faith and really not being being a real 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 person of the of the lord not just uh somebody that's personal gaining like oh i'm gonna be a minister because i know that all these people believe in god so god's gonna be uh, god's gonna be my money maker i'm gonna you know and as long as i still read the bible and as long as i do my things you know and i, and I do my church on sundays or my bible studies a couple times a week you know i'm still gonna sin and i'm still gonna do that but as long as i pray at the end right ask god for my for forgiveness he's gonna forgive me okay he might do that a couple times you think the Lord is stupid? Because y'all getting judged too. Just saying. Me, me brand new in my full flame. I learned that. Like, that's how I realized that my, my divine protection. Because I'm not an angry person. I don't cuss nobody out no more. Like, okay, I'll be like, oh my God, y'all so corny. Like, I'll laugh at it or, you know, like. But y'all do not get under my skin the way you used to. Y'all had me on the, ver like, I was trying so hard to kill myself. I was driving reckless, racing people to... Like, and like, I guess in subliminally hoping I would just wreck myself and like be done because every time I attempted to do it on my own, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I'm like, damn, I got my kids. I can't do it. But I was really ready. Like I was done. And then I'm like, oh man, I'm like seeing what this, you know, if you look up, you know, when I started really looking up the organized crime and gang stalking, like the point of it is to kill you, but get you to do it yourself. Oh no, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. Anywho, but, um. God, bring me back, because I got her all the way off the subject. So, yeah, so, um, oh, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you. So, the point is, you know, um, so, when I started changing my ways, and when God started my, did my, gave me my awakening, and he started giving me, started my enlightenment back in, 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 um, in May, when I didn't realize what was happening until, that dude that I was seeing that, that that was part of all this organized crime even if he didn't realize it they got in his head and he did become part of it ultimately so because yeah no I'm not gonna make no excuses for him I don't care because because I know the you know, people are I know dirty grimy men because I've been there and done that he's just a really good one because they had him trained real good so they were whatever but he is the one that brought the frequencies to my attention as far as like not, not, not the satellite frequencies, the bad frequencies, which they do have. Oh, look, we're doing chemtrails. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. I don't know if I have tape on the back of it. I'm on a turn. Come on. Hold on. You see it? You see it right there? Hold on. Yeah. You see him right in the making as I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's talk about that. That's not because they're going to keep me unfocused. But you see how beautiful that's from the Lord. Those are from the Lord, the sun's setting. But, um, chemtrails. In the making. Oh, buddies. Oh, we're going to drive towards me now or fly towards me? Get out of here. That's of the Lord. Look at that. They can't make that. Mm. Oh, man, that's God. But, anyhow, I'm going to flip this. Hope that yeah, God's not going to let me accidentally screw this up and stop it. Um, thank you for getting me back on the road, Lord, because I was just in the, all the way in the other lane. But, um, yeah, so 
once my enlightenment and everything and then I realized and it's like on my own it's actually God I can't I'm not gonna take the credit for that I was like I've been a rager and angry person I'm like you're like yo like I was a mm, like I was a thumper like I didn't see I was never a bully but the minute I felt disrespected or someone in my circle or my family or somebody that was around me that I was with, like, it not even has to be a, didn't have to be a boyfriend. Like, if I was out with a friend and then some bitch got in their face, I'm like, whoa, you going to fall the fuck back. And then the minute that bitch gets out with me, we throwing, we throwing it. Like, let's go. And me, I don't feel pain. Now I'm, I'm starting to understand why I, can, I have a disgustingly high tolerance for physical pain, all right? D, Scott, I could take me some pain. So not only can I throw some blows, but a bitch can fucking eat some shit too, okay? And keep it fucking moving. So I'm just saying, now I'm understanding why I need to take physical pain because I got, now I, I'm starting to understand why. Because I'm I, he got me as like, mm, I'm a soldier for the Lord. Yes, amen. But, um, so go ahead and come at me. Y'all physically, y'all can't physically hurt me. Like, come on, I used to be a cutter. I used to self-mutilate. I got tattoos everywhere on me. Them shits don't feel good. I mean, it, it was cool with me. Like, I don't mind pain, but, um, physical, like, come on. But, um, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, I, I rage your God, thank you. Bring me back. Um, we got 50 minutes, but I ain't got no limit right now. So we're just going to head back towards the, the crib because it's getting, you know, sun's going to go down. Not that I care, but it is my dad's vehicle. And, uh, he did ask me not to use all the gas. I won't use the water tank. But, um, but yeah, so it's like, you know, I was a rager, but it's like, you know, I'm a cusser. You know, y'all, y'all hurt. Y'all come on. Y'all saw my videos and when I first started putting them up and like, F-bomb, 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 F-bomb. But I didn't give a damn. I do now. Like, I can't stand that I still cuss, okay? I don't want to cuss, especially because I like um, every, except talking to y'all and like a few comments, like, excuse my dad or whatever. I don't have, I prayed for God to do certain things in my life and remove, remove anybody that's not godly and not righteous in his eyes. Take them out of my life. All right, this is the second cop that's passing me in like 10, 15 minutes, but I got my, my seatbelt on. It's not, it's here, it's on. That's why or else you'd be here dinging. But that, that cop, that's the second one. I just didn't want to acknowledge the first one. But, um, I don't got my... Oh, we got the Domen the Dominic. The, we got the one-lighter behind me. Oh, anywho. Um, so, uh... Let him run up on my ass. Oh, shit, he just missed it. He's not gonna, he's not gonna pass me. Uh, so, um... Hold on, let me put my things on. He ain't going nowhere. He could. He can easily pass me. I'm doing 25 miles an hour. 25 miles an hour. He just, instead of doing 55 or passing me, he's falling way back. Because that is of a demonic. Okay? That is of evil. That is not of the Lord. Plus, it's a one later. Like, come on. <laughs> anyway, um, so once I, um, I didn't want to be a cut. God brought me right back. <sighs> I love him. I'm so in love. I am so, so, so hey, y'all, love y'all, forgive y'all. Um, I am so, so, so in love with the Lord. I swear I am. He knows I am. He knows how much I love him, and I talk about him all the time. Speak, with that being said, I don't want to be a cusser anymore. I can't stand that I have made, he has m made miracles within me with my cigarette smoking, with the weed smoking, with other temptations that I, I had around me that I enjoyed. All that, all that, done, 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 done easily no no urges no nothing but the cussing is like oh and it aggravates me because it's like i get frustrated oh good they can pass me now thank you so it aggravates me now because it's like oh i know i can do it like why can i not let go of the cussing all the time like it's just frustrating like I've, I've smoked cigarettes as long as I've been cussing. Like, come on now. Like, almost my whole life. So why can't... Why? And it's just so frustrating because I am truly holy with the Lord. With that being said, getting back to really being of the Lord. So, I don't want to cuss. I don't... And I have... I do not ever want to do any type of mind altering anything. I don't want to put anything in my body that is not real. That is not food. And is not, like, real food and real... Like, real food. That is not... That is not nutrients or, you know, or like liquids from like, like the liquid <laughs> beverage and not alcoholic beverage. No beer, no whiskey shots following with my bottle of beer. None of that. Nah, I don't want none of that. 
because it's not of the Lord. I don't need that. I have God. Okay? I don't hit my bones. I don't get anxiety attacks. I don't get panic attacks. I don't face all my fears. I don't, I don't, I'm holding bees now. I got big ass spiders in the window and I'm giving them names. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pulling people over. I'll, I'll slow myself down so they can pass me just because like, come on, y'all. I'm not making y'all job easy. Y'all not getting that paycheck. Y'all supposed to be behind me to put my frequency way, 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 way down so the entities can come eat off of me. Fuck out of here. Watch my frequency soar, y'all. Watch me get my frequency up to the heavens, to the Jesus, to the Lord. Can I get a witness? Boop. Yes, I can. Y'all not eating off of that energy. Y'all not getting that energy. Nah, bruh. Nah, these red vehicles and one white lighters. Nah, these guys, them. Oh, my gosh. They used to like. Nah, mm -mm. y'all yeah, see it. Y'all feel it. Y'all feel it. I got me some strong ass energy inside. I got me some strong high ass frequencies. Y'all not pulling that down. I'll be dancing in my car like, eh, 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 eh. Good Lord, good Lord. I love me, the Lord. All praise to my Lord. Y'all supposed to be pissing me off? <laughs> I pray and I rebuke y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, y'all tactics not working no more. Amen to that, my Lord. I love you. Oh, he is right there all up in my face. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, he was just covered with clouds on that side. Just say it. Now he is fully out. Yeah, come on. But, um, and I'm saying, so once I, so once I started, he, he brought me back. Oh, this video is going to take like probably all, it probably will kill my battery. It'll, my phone will probably die at some point tonight while I was trying to upload. And then it's going to tell me, cause he's telling me I have another software update. Like get out of here anyway, but I'm going to keep talking and we got an hour in. Oops, let's get back on the road though. But, um, so I, um, you know, I gave away my, I gave up my anger and my rage the grudge holding that I had that I've held grudges for my whole entire life of anybody that has hurt me or my children people that did me dirty you know, everybody it's like mm, I didn't wish bad about maybe I did I probably I think I did I did I didn't want them around yeah I did have bad things and feelings and intentions towards them I did all right I'm I, you know what? let's be real 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 honest since I am a very honest woman these days there ain't no reason to lie to myself or anybody and as I'm as I'm saying that I'm realizing that I'm lying I didn't do that deliberately by the way I did have ill intentions anybody everybody that hurt me you know but I felt that it was justified because they were bad malicious people that did things to me so in my head my thinking was well I'm allowed to have these thoughts about them like when I was talking about um getting my Rottweiler just you know when I told y'all and I was like it's my first Roddy with I love y'all. I know that I see some angels up there for me. Oh, I see them angels. <laughs> I love them so much. They're so beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. And they make me, they love me so much. And they make me feel so happy and loved. Ah, oh, I cannot wait to go paradise, to go home. I cannot wait to go home with them. Um, on God's time, y'all not going to do it, by the way. Y'all and evil entities, y'all not going to do it. When God's ready to bring me, he's got work for me to do down here. So, um... But, uh, yeah, when I, when I was talking about how when I got the dog when he was a pup, you know, and um, now, you know, he, he served his purpose with me and my kids when it was just the three of us. I had just gotten away from a very, very, very malicious man. Okay? Very, very, very abusive. This man beat the brakes off of me. This man would sodomize me. He would punch me in the back of the head. He was a big 320-pound dude. Okay? And, and like... I'm a, you know, even though he would not, he would, his favorite thing was to like put on his leather gloves and like whack back him out there, like, or like throw me on the bed and like, and then, and then kneel on top of me on my hands with his freaking knees and like whomp, you know, backhand the shit at me with them gloves on. I'd be like, you know, my, my, I was still running my mouth. I was still trying to jump up at him. Like what? And that's why I would get sodomized really bad because I just wouldn't keep my mouth shut. He would punch me in the back of the head. He would like that shit so much. And, uh, yeah, this man, like, really, 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 I survived, though. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I survived that shit. So, um, needless to say, he had me in the, like, he, like, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't do nothing. This man, I did a bid with him. He knew what he was doing. I was a mad faithful chick to him. For what? 
because I'm retarded. The only faithful I'm going to be is the Lord now. But I, you know, like I was faithful to that dude. I was driving all up and down New York State, you know, go up to visit up, visit him way up near Canada, working way down downstate in New York. You know what I'm saying? Working double shifts, driving eight and a half, nine hours all the way upstate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bringing, like, doing everything for him. He paroling in my house. And then, like, he had me right where he wanted me, right here. And then I'll never forget the day. I'm going to put this up here. And I don't want, I don't need no sympathy for nobody because it is a blessing in disguise because I know, I know the shit of shit people. And I know the maliciousness that cert, that corrupted people can have inside of them. And because of that, I can appreciate and love and cherish the good so much more okay and i rise from that i rise from that okay i rise from that that man i was about, my death was about to be by his hand let me tell y'all son but um so so he had got out you know i did an 18 month bid with him on top of being with him prior to that and then like we take it around he wanted to see where i was, was bartending downstate in new york which he where he even told me to go bartend anyway so i'm driving you know we're we're um whatever we're smoking whatever drinking you know whatever i'm stupid and um, I'll never forget it. And this is exactly how he said it. Because he didn't talk to me before this. He was like doing the whole like, oh, I'm pretending he's like the guy that never did, that I never had in my life and all this and all that. And I, he knew what he was doing. So we drive in and he back out, you know, <clears throat> he wanted me to do that bit. Anyway, he, we back out. So he's in the passenger side. I'm driving. And he's like, <clears throat> he's fucked up. He's like, he was like, you such a good girl. He was like, you listen to me so well. He's like, what I always tell you, no matter what you see or what you hear, you play your role, you stay in your lane, and you do as you're told, and you will always be good with me. He goes, and then he looks out the window, and he's like, every single woman is a slave to a man who is their master, okay? He was like, and you've met your master. He told me, he said, when I see a woman... He was like, I want to rape her, sodomize her, leave her for dead on the side of the road. Y'all, 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 let me tell you, son. I know, Lord, I'm over it. I'm just, I'm just speaking about how I, I, I forgave him. Anyway, so I, that exact moment, I was like, my stomach dropped, my heart fell out my booty hole, and I was just like... I'm with the spawn of Satan. And that's when I, like, I had the realization, like, oh, my God. And that's when shit got really, 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 really bad. Like, all of a sudden, he don't want me working. He got me where all my money's going to his bank account. But he's paying the rent, you know. But he, you know, it was just bad. It was so, so bad, y'all. And this man had me, but God gave me a way out. Because I'm telling you, when finally he had me mentally at my worst physically at my worst emotionally at my worst like I, yo when you got some man that you living with and every day he's beating your ass and he telling you you ain't nothing but a worthless fucking piece of shit whore you ain't shipped unless you, because of me you got where you at and you got someone drooling that into your head every single day and they beating the fucking brakes up off of you regardless of how strong you are you gonna start to believe that shit you gonna start feeling like fucking shit you gonna start feeling like how am i gonna get up out from under his grasp like there is no way you're gonna feel hopeless but let me tell you son there is no there is hope in that because where there's a will there's a way and if i could do it with two little kids like mm -mm. let me tell you something the day i was like god gave me a way out and he was a lie because i didn't know felons couldn't leave the state he was a three-time violent felon i think i might have put this up there on one of my videos i don't really care i feel like talking about it right now um he uh i just want to how i got away from him then i'm gonna go back to full faith because it had to do with my grudge holding and everything ah, god told me kept me kept me kept me so you know he was going to go to another country to go find his daughter that his baby mama had took off when I should have hated the warning. She took off when he went and did his bid with his daughter to another country. And he said he was going to another the other country to go get his daughter, see her, whatever. I didn't know. I was stupid at the time. I was naive. I was blinded. I had, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay. He's like, he'd be going for like a week or two. So he leaves me like, I don't know, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I don't know. He didn't leave me much. <clears throat> um, he said he'd be going for a week. Why is the car driving like this? Oh, I'll make sure I didn't put it in another speed because I'm going slow. <laughs> but, um, so, but for the beatings, I got really bad. And I started telling people, I started telling my aunt, I told my aunt and my very good friend, I said, listen, y'all, something very, very bad is about to happen to me. And it's going to be by his hand. I'm not going to put him on blast. I really don't give a shit. It's going to be by, by his hand. 
um, I didn't tell everybody. People knew, like my kids were little and my oldest knew. She told me, you know, like they told me that I didn't, I try to be quiet when he was doing what he's doing to me at night. Um, but they heard it and that kills me that I'll never be like, they know, but you know, they know they, because of that, they will never deal with a man like that. But, um, you know, it just breaks my heart that no matter, like I, my, I always get my ass handed to me by this fat ass motherfucker that for no reason, I'm, and like I'm trying to hide it from my kids and I'm eating that shit up like a G not that I should have to but I am I'm you know and I'm just be I'm not crying I'm not screaming not when my babies is home I never really did though but um you know and, and they still knew um which is really sad but um so I started telling people like listen this it was getting worse and worse he got really big into hardcore drugs um and it just it just got really, really worse for me. And um, I was like, something bad is going to happen to me. And I, I got to let somebody know that if something bad happens to me, it's going to be by his hand. So I started telling people that. Then I started having, like, feelings like when he would fall asleep. <laughs> he'd have a breathing machine. He had sleep apnea. So, um, you know, he'd be like, clean that out. But he used to still wear only, oh, I don't know. I put toilet water up in that bad boy. <laughs> and I would clean it out. Oh, there was a truck that was on my ass earlier. Whatever. Um way up there but um 707 guy wants to keep talking oh uh, yes lord i'm focusing um so you know um i would, I would clean the breathing too i would take a toothbrush and i would like clean the do the rim of the toilet with it and then i would clean the little pipes and everything in it then i fill it up oh distilled water you want some distilled water how about some pissed water ah but that was the only way i get back to him i tried one time to give him some of my anti-anxiety medicine and put in some of his pasta because I did want to knock him out for the night because I just didn't want to get abused that night like I wasn't trying to kill him but he was just I, I just didn't give him enough because he was a big fat man um you know 320 pound man like a couple of and he gonna work on his ass but anyway um plus he was so drugged up on on uppities which I learned fast so um but yeah um so needless to say so I'm like all right and then like when he would fall asleep and like you know when he'd sleep apnea if he wasn't up to his machine I knew he'd be out out so I'd be like, all right, so, like, if I slice his throat right now, like, how would I get away, how would I get his body away from me? Because he's going to be dead weight, he's already 320 pounds, and how would I justify this? Like, I would have thoughts like that, or I will beg for something really bad to happen to him. But I felt in my head, I'm going to go back to what I was saying, in my head, I felt it was justifiable because he was such an evil being, and he did so many horrible things to me, not just that. I got two little kids, dude. So you're taking from me and you're you're destroying and deteriorating their mother. How dare you? So yeah, I held grudges and like I feared him and everything. Mm -mm, not no more. After I but so that's going back to it. So yeah, something like that, yeah. I would have really bad feelings. I would wish bad upon him. But you know what? It's not my it's not my place to do that. So even though I know he doesn't forgive. I mean, if, if he don't feel bad for what he does because let me tell you something he found me before I went back to Georgia he found me real quick he was in prison and I was on the Vine um, thing so I got a notification one year which I just don't understand like how the hell did you a three four time felon you got in prison people thought it was me for kidnapping for, I did put this I remember talking about this now for kidnapping a girl um, raping her sodomizing her tasing her abusing her holding her for $2,000 ransom he was gone everybody thought it was me but it wasn't I was like, yo, where are you? I'm like, yo, I'm down in the city. I'm trying to find some gigs to do. I need to work. I got to, you know, I, I got away from Frank. Oh, well, that was his name. <laughs> That's the name. So, um, <laughs> well, all of a sudden I'll have all these guys around me, whether that, that name, it don't care. <laughs> Watch. Watch, y'all. I'm going to talk about it. I guarantee they're going to put mad people around me or you can hear somebody uh, I'll be walking by and be like, yo, Frank. Yo, 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 guarantee it. I know oh, they are so inside. I don't give a shit. I forgive him because it's not me to judge. It's not me to wish bad on him. It's not karma. It's the Lord. The Lord is watching. So God will judge him because he's a very, very malicious being. But anyway, but I let go of that. And he did find me, by the way, back in 2017, um, towards the end of 2017. And he's going to try to talk about some getting your truck suck my mm. I'm like what I was like yo let me ask you something I'm like do you even feel sorry for anything you did to me like anything he was like nah I was like 
I didn't think you did. He's like, nah, because if you were to do what you was told and you would have stayed in your lane and played your part, none of that would have happened. But you had to keep jumping up. You had to keep running your mouth. You had to keep seeing what was going on. You just couldn't listen to me and do as you was told. And then he was like, he's like, yo, get in your truck. I'm like, nah, I'm not getting in my truck. He's like, get in your truck. And give me my, mm -mm -mm. and I'm like, man, listen, yo, my phone rang at that exact moment. And I went to answer it. He's like, are you? And like, he kept going like this to me. I kept backing up. He's like, you can be Tony tough guy, Tony tough guy. And I'm backing up. I'm backing up between the cars. Like, nah, bro, you on parole. We in a parking lot. I don't give a shit if it's nighttime or not. Somebody going to see you putting your hands on me. You don't fear me. I don't, or I don't fear you anymore. I never really did. You just had me here. You put me to where I had no choice. But the Lord gave me away because you went to go get your daughter. And you really went and took another chick with my money. My money. You took another chick down to Florida. And you stayed there for almost three weeks. Which was my way to get the hell away from you. So I put all my shit. Long story short. I put all my shit in storage. Me and my kids. My whole house. And I hightailed it up out of there. And then he went and um, he got out. And we were. Um, and he found me. Or he came back, he found me. That's when he did the, he got all crazy on me. And, um, wait, 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 wait. That's not how it happened. Okay, yes, I did start putting myself in storage. I did not get out of the house yet. He came back. And me and the kids were still in this house. And my daughter was, my oldest was homesick that day. And I see him pull up in the driveway. He's all fucked up. And I'm like, I can't be with you no more. I can't, like, I can't do this. He's like, get downstairs, talk to me. I'm like, oh, my daughter's sick, man. She needs me up here. He's like, get downstairs and talk to me. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, I know in my heart and my soul, if my baby was not homesick that day, that man was going to, I would, I would, he would have killed me. A hundred percent, no, like, a, no, like, I know for a shadow of a doubt, that man would have killed me that day. But my daughter was home that day. So, and I was just like, he kept coming at me and I'm just like, yo, you got to go. I'm like, I can't be with you. I can't do this. Nah, he's like, I love you so much. And he's like, cry. Like, get the fuck out of here. Love don't hurt, bruh. Let me tell you something. I love my enemies and I don't want to hurt them. They are malicious. They are out to destroy me. They are trying to poison me. They are trying to kill me without touching me. They try to torture me. I love them still. That's love. Anyway... So, yeah, anyway, so that's how I got away from him. Then that's when he did the kidnapping that, that recently. That, that's how it happened. So then he did the kidnapping. He got put in jail. So now we're on our fourth felony, violent at that. And two weeks, and that's when we put um, the rest of my stuff in the storage. And I went, and he found me. And then he got out two weeks later. He calls me. He's like, yo, where are you? And I was done at that point. I was done. But, um, yeah, but he found me, and then he ended up going back to prison again, I think, because the girl ended up dropping the charges, and the state picked it up, and then he did prison, and then I got, went on the um, buying thing, and then I got the call, and that's how, you know, I knew he was out, and he ended up finding me, because, you know, where I'm from in New York is small, well, it's not, it's not Georgetown small, but it, it, it's a small area, you know, it ain't huge, um, it ain't New York City big, but, um, it's a, you know, a city in, in Northeast New York, it's not like a New York City, but, um, yeah, and uh, that's how I got away from him. But I held grudges against him. I couldn't stand him. I didn't fear him or nothing. But, you know, I gave all that up. Like, you know what? God's going to judge us. So once I did that, that, that's like the epitome of being able to let something go. Okay? Because that man did horrendous things to me. He, it was even more than what he did. Like, I ain't, I ain't even tell y'all everything. Like, he would make me do to, you know, he would do to me. It was horrible. I didn't deserve it. But... In that process, is the first time I, when I got away from him, I found strength in myself. Me and my kids were homeless for a couple months. You know, I had to put them up with, with their father and his, his ex, or his wife, you know, and uh, who did not, could not stand my kids because, like, whatever. And they, like, my babies were only for like three months, and I had to get, I had to get me a room, and I had to stay in a room. It took me three months to get the money up to get me a apartment and to get me and my kids back together. Three months by myself, by the way. And that's when I got the dog. So, okay, so that's that judging. Okay, so anyway, so that's how I got my dog. So, I wasn't talking about that. Then I was talking about full faith with the Lord. But, um, and, uh, what was I gonna say? So, um, so yeah, so full faith. So once I gave away, gave up my anger, I gave up, whoa, whoa. We're not trying to do all that. That's very provocative. That is not holy. Um, so, 
Hope we got some big trucks coming. I, mean, I gotta watch the road. All right. So um, yeah. So once I did that, and then I was like, I don't want to be an angry person anymore. Like I don't want to be a cusser. And then I was looking up things on how to release your anger. And, and like I saw, I found something on on YouTube, and it was this guy talking about um about how you know five ways to release your anger and it just made so much sense and ever since then like I was like I don't want to be an angry person and it's just easily I just easily started you know letting go of my anger and um but then it would still I would still get riled up by this by the mm -hmm, I think that was an eagle I just went over an eagle or a big ass hawk but it was a really big big hawk and I don't think hawks are that big so I would just give up my anger but I would still you know, and I'm praying, I started praying and everything, I was doing my grounding, but I would still do my hiding, and then I realized that, like, I don't have full faith in the Lord then, because if I had full faith in the Lord, I wouldn't be driving around all night, trying to run from these cars, and putting shit in my back window, to stop from the brighting tactics, and, you know, I wouldn't be cussing out the drones and the copters that are constantly on my ass, and I wouldn't be flipping people off and I wouldn't be cussing people out I wouldn't get upset that is not full faith in the Lord okay once I realized that and I gave my full faith to him that's when I got my divine protection after giving him my full faith after after losing the anger and giving up the grudges and forgiving every single malicious being that was ever in my life and did me and my kids dirty and there has been a lot of them more so at this end of my life and once I gave that up and started praying for them and loving them and giving them forgiveness, that's when the miracles started changing. And that's when God revealed himself into my life, okay? And that's when I'm just like, and then I gave me strength to do more and more and more. Like things that I never thought I'd be able to accomplish within myself. That's why I'm so hard on myself with the swearing. It's like, ah, oh, I know I can do it. And like, I know. I, I am just now fully in, given myself to the Lord. I am just recently fully saved and fully protected and, and, and my calling is there. Like, but how, how do my, this, and I know that he's got, he wants me to, I know I'm supposed to be way more than just a, a preacher and a minister. I know that. I, he's just, that has not divulged that, all that information to me yet, but he lets me know all the time. I have some serious, important things going on and it's more than just that. And that's okay with me, you know, cause in his will and his way and his time, I'm good with that. But, um, you know, he's got me here for a reason. And I've been through everything I've been through for a reason. It made me who I am today and also made me love him. And he unhardened my heart. My heart from the whole, my whole life has been hard and iced. And I didn't have no faith in humanity. And no, not one person could ever tell me, especially a man, that they wanted a good intentions for me. You know, until he, until whatever. But, um. I have my full faith in the Lord. I don't want to cuss. I don't want to swear. I don't want to smoke weed. I don't want another cigarette. I don't want a shot of whiskey. I don't want a beer. I don't want, I don't want any happy drugs that make me happy. I don't want to raise people. I don't want to fight people. I don't want to cuss people out. I don't want to lie. I don't want to do nothing but talk to God, learn his word, Read what he puts in front of me, study the Bible, and intimately study the Bible, and praise him, and dance for him, and talk to him, and not do nothing wrong ever again. I don't even want to be with another human being for the rest of my life. I don't even sexually want to be with anybody. Nobody, nobody will have me sexually ever again. We're going to put that out there, okay? No one. Like, done. I'm not going to touch myself. Nothing. Nothing. I am going to be 1,000% righteous in his eyes. And when I feel my, because I am a human, so we do have feelings. So every time I feel myself feeling a little weak or I feel myself feeling sad about something or anything I start to, I might feel like I have a worry about, I catch myself immediately and I immediately start praying to him and I give it to the Lord and I ask him to please forgive me for being weak. Please forgive me for shedding tears. Please forgive me for starting to get upset, my Lord. Please forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Please, I, I trust in you, my Lord. All my faith is in you. I, you have my, all, all my heart, my life is in your hands, my Lord. You have not steered me wrong thus far, nor will you. And I believe and I, and that is full faith in the Lord. Not, if you have not, if you still worry and you, you say you're, you're of the Lord and you still worry, you're not of the Lord because you shouldn't worry about nothing. You're talking, I'm talking from experience, y'all. Come on now. Y'all got to hear me. Y'all don't got to hear shit. Did I just spit out the camera? I don't know. I feel like I did. I didn't mean to. Y'all ain't got to hear me. 
but hear me if you can. I, like, I beg of you. I ain't better than nobody. Y'all see me tied up. What's my chat chest say? Sinner saint. I got tats everywhere. I was a sinner my entire life. I didn't take nobody's life or nothing like that. But I did a lot of other sins that weren't, of, that weren't right of the Lord. And here I am saved, divinely protected. I am, a, a, he has called on me. He is, he is talked. He has, I have a full on relationship with the Lord. He teaches me. He brings things to my attention. He he answers me. He answers my prayers. Sometimes I swear, I have a question. I told y'all this. Like, come on now, y'all. And it, it, it's not just me he would do that for. Like, he everybody has different gifts and he has reasons for everybody else. But let me tell y'all something. I just completely didn't realize where I'm going. I'm not reading no signs. Oh, we gotta watch this gas. I think I'm good. God is guiding me. God's gonna guide me where I gotta go. Um, but like, come on, y'all. I'm not better than nobody. I would never insinuate in any way, shape, or form I'm better than the next person because we are all equal. I mean, the evil beings and the and the and the abominations. My heart is saddened for the Lord because that is just. I am so in love with God that, like, I just can't fathom how the the blatant audacity the audacity they have for the blatant and utter disrespect and spitting in his face by doing what they doing and really thinking that they're going to take over the world and that they're going to beat the lord like that hurt that weighs my heart heavy that weighs my heart heavy because the lord is real y'all he is making miracles in me every single day he is moving mountains within me and around me because i have given full faith to the lord I have changed all of my ways and things that I still falter on and I'm still fall short of, I beg for forgiveness. I pray three, four, five times a day faithfully. I forgive all the all my enemies. I don't have enemies, but the people that do on to me the malicious ways. I pray for them. I forgive them. I send them love. I smile. Y'all won't take my joy no more. I keep my frequencies way up. Shoot. I don't know where I'm going. I got to figure out where I'm at. Wait, a cemetery. This might have been the one. I don't know. I'm going to pay attention, though. Lord will guide me. Um, but, like, come on, y'all. And and you people that have been ministers for years and years and years that got y'all fancy cars and your big houses and your decked out outfits and blah, blah, blah. You're doing it wrong. Y'all are, are false ministers. It's in the Bible. Y'all should know about that. Y'all committing adultery. Y'all going to, to preach to other, other women when y'all got a wife at the house and y'all banging them? Mm-mm. 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 Y'all not right. Mm-mm. That's not how it works. Y'all can't go do all that bad shit every single day. Like, oh, well, as long as I pray at night and ask God for my forgiveness, ask God to forgive my sins, he's going to forgive it. Okay. Keep thinking that. Keep thinking that. I'm not better than nobody. I am not better than the next person, but I have given myself completely to the Lord, okay? And because of that, I am divinely protected. He has, I am divinely enlightened, and he bestows upon me wisdom that I would have never, ever imagined because of that. And that is one of the biggest, most precious things that the Lord can give you is wisdom, okay? Smart, 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 smarts. Okay, not just like book smarts. No, wisdom, spiritual wisdom, the wisdom of the Lord. And he's good and he knows. Because I asked him the other day in my head, I'm like, do you know, Lord? Do you know? I think I said in my video, do you know what people are going to say before they even say it? And I got my sign. Yeah, I do. I do. And I was like, oh, that was a really dumb question. Even though I have learned young in life, there's no such thing as dumb question. That was a really dumb question to me because clearly he's infinite knowledge. He's the, he, he is, he is the creator. Clearly he knows what people are going to say before they say it. He brought me right where I needed to be. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh, he knows, I literally, literally right where I got to be. <laughs> I'm so in love with the Lord, y'all. I don't care. I don't care. Y'all could tell. Y'all could sit there and try to rip me to pieces. The Lord is there. Peace exists where the love of God is. Can I? That's the sign from Him right there, and that is the fact. That is a fact. 
he want me to look over at that sign right there as I pass it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be all, you know, provocative. That is not of the Lord. Um, but yeah, so full faith, fake prophets, fake, fake ministers, you know, y'all making personal gain from the Lord. Come on now, wake up, man. Wake up. Y'all need to wake. Please wake. I'm begging you to wake up, not for me, for y'all safe, for y'all souls, because God I mean, even though there's going to be those that do not ever, ever submit to the Lord and will never bow down in front of him and, and, and recognize him and all his wonderfulness and all his magnificence and all that, they will not do that. And that is on y'all ass. But the ones that might have a little bit of a, that might have a little bit of a questioning or the ones that say they're fully, they're fully there, but y'all really not, please listen to me. I beg of you. I want y'all to walk with me up there in heaven where everything is beautiful and wonderful and love and happiness. And, and we have eternal life and we're laughing and we're singing and we're dancing and we're praising and like, can, can you win beautiful flowers and colors and lights and angels everywhere? Y'all don't want to do that with me? No. You rather follow what you think Lucifer is telling the truth about? <clears throat> and you rather go read Revel don't if you don't want to read the Bible, go to the last one. Go to Revelations and read that. And y'all think it's a joke. It's not a joke. If this was a joke, I wouldn't be doing these videos. I'll be still making my stupid videos with angry me and all the gang stalking bullshit. And ah, and my car would have would be all blocked up and I'd still have all you know what I'm saying like come on come on y'all y'all are seeing me transform in front of you I have not one reason to lie I am a completely different human being now completely I am ascending okay um and I, I, I don't know but yeah, people are still not gonna believe but I'm going to do my damn that I'm going to pray that y'all do. And I'm not going to take none personal if y'all don't. I take it. I don't take it. I don't know. I just, I just feel for the Lord. I don't feel. I'm not like, oh my God, I feel so bad. Like, what was him? Nah, it's not that. It's I love him so much that it hurts my heart that nobody else loves him the way I do. And I'm just now giving myself a, and I, I've known about God my whole life, but I just now have this love for him. And it hurts my heart that it took me this long to do it. But he had, I had to go through the life I did and endure all of the maliciousness and all the acts of cruelness and, 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 and pain and, and, and bad people and malicious beings. Uh, I had to go through all of that to be able to love and appreciate the Lord the way I do. Y'all hear me? That's why. So I'm okay with that. And I keep telling him, I will go... I, or everything I've been through in my life, which is majorly, majorly, whatever. The majority of my life has been bad by my by my own choices. You know, I will put that out there. Not all of them, but I did make bad choices. So bad things did happen because of my choices. I didn't. Everything bad happened to me wasn't my choice, but um, I, it's all it's all worth it to me because I have a personal. The Lord has revealed. Like I haven't seen His face, obviously. He, like He doesn't. You know, I'm sure He's around me all the time. He lets me know He's around me. But he answers me. He shows me things. I see things. He gives knowledge in my head. I, he, Come on, y'all. Where am I going to get this shit from? I'm not going to dig it out of my booty hole. I got something on my own. I pray for you. I love you and I pray for you. I love you. I'm going to do a sign across. I'm going to call the cops on me. Dear Lord, I forgive the malicious beings and the, and the demonic entities that surround me, the ones that try to bring me down. I forgive them, and I love them so much, and I pray so hard that one day they will fall to their knees, and their hearts will be touched, and they will be unhardened, and they will have even a fraction of the love that I have in my heart. Because if they have even a fraction of they wouldn't want to harm a hair on a fly's body. And that is the truth, my Lord. I forgive them. I love them. Get ye behind me, Satan. The blood of Jesus against you. Get ye behind me, Satan. The blood of Jesus against you. Get ye behind me, Satan. The blood of Jesus against you. Satan, I rebuke you and everything unholy in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, I rebuke you and everything unholy in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, I rebuke you and everything unholy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Well, they were all surrounding me. Now they're all in front of me. Is that how it works? My frequency ain't dropped, did it? Nah, B. My frequency ain't dropped. Nah, my dudes. My frequency didn't drop. Mm, talk about it. Let's talk about it, y'all.
Let's talk about this smile on my face. Yo, this smile is because of the Lord. The twinkles in my eyes, that's all because of God. That's for God. And he is a jealous God. So he's like, y'all, she dancing for me. Psst, fall back. She's talking for me. Fall back. She's smiling for me. Y'all not going to bring them smiles down. Y'all not going to take them twinkles out of her eyes for me. From me? I'm a jealous God. No, 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 no. Oh, I just missed my turn. That's okay. I didn't really miss it. I must have done it. I did it on purpose. Uh, you didn't put your directional on. Uh, so many. Red truck. Red truck. Red truck. Red truck. Red truck. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> Yo. God, I'm sorry for swearing. Oh, that's funny. I love that. I love my improv shit, my improv shit improv, because it's hilarious, I crack myself up, like, why do you want to ruin me, because I think I'm hilarious, I am such a dope person, I am so dope, I am, I am the, I'm not the greatest, but I am pretty freaking awesome, so, with that being said, we got an hour and 30 minutes in on this chit chat, it's clearly getting dark, um, I'm gonna keep this smile on my face, um, I spoke about a lot of things, I didn't even plan on speaking, but the Lord was speaking through my mouth to y'all, and um, I don't want to give these perps the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? They know I'm recording. Oh, they're gonna take forever. I'm not gonna. I was gonna hit something on my phone to see how much battery percentage I got, but I don't really give a snoop because um, I'm gonna put it up on the phone. It's gonna take it. I got this is gonna be this is the longest video I ever made. So my little 25, 35 minute videos be taking mad long to put up. So I'm sure this video ain't gonna post anytime soon. Um, by the grace of God, it will get up though. Um, so you know, um, however y'all, if y'all can help me get my views up and help me get this these out to to, sh to spread the word of the Lord, um, I would appreciate that. I don't want to be asking people to subscribe to my channel, but. Ugh, you know, I guess I do have to. That's what everybody does. Again, it's not for personal gain. It's, it's really because I want to share the works of the Lord with y'all. And I want to really help save as many souls as I can. That is my honest to God. That is the truth in my heart. That is my pure intentions and the love in my heart and soul. Hold on. And um, that's the truth. So with that being said, it's getting darker. They're getting aggressive on me. Um, I got to watch because they are coming up on me. This is not my vehicle again. So I got to be cautious. But um, I love y'all. Peace and blessings to everybody. I forgive all the malicious beings. Um, and I just pray so hard for all y'all. I love y'all so much. Earth Angel out. Mwah.